this is Bond Diesel, and I want to talk to you about the October 11th State of the Game, specifically the interview with Frederick Thylander. He's the 3C director, which means he's in uh, control of all of the movement, camera angles, things like that. But what he also does is the guns. He is also known as the gun guy. So he came on after the dev blog released last month and talked about a few things. He talked about adding a rifle category in the Division 2. This will include existing guns like the MDR, M1A, and other semi-auto and burst weapons. This may also include lever action rifles. He talked about exotics. You will only be allowed one exotic weapon and one exotic gear piece. The exotics are going to be more, be more powerful, therefore the limits, and not as specified or as narrow as the ones in Division 1. All of the exotics will be new. All of Some of the old exotics, such as the House, Devil, Heal, and likely many others, will return as high-end guns of their typical name. He also confirmed an exotic bolt-action rifle for Hamish. Weapon mods, similar discussion as before, talking about how they're unlocked, that there's going to be a journey to unlock them, and they won't be lootable items like they were in Division 1. Weapon talents. Big changes here. High-end guns are going to have three talents, but unlike Division 1, the three talents will have three different pools of talents they can pull from. They will also be all brand new talents. The first talent on all high-end guns will be an active talent with some kind of UI indicator, similar to the Predmark counter that we see now. The second talent will always be something having to do with stability, accuracy, optimal range, and so on. The third talent will be a holstered talent, therefore it will only work and affect your character when you're not using this gun. There is some uncertainty on whether or not some of these talents may also be active while using the gun. But for now, we're calling them holstered talents, which means they only work when not being used. The sidearms will also have all of these talents. Therefore, you could have a primary weapon that has two holstered talents from your secondary and from your pistol. You could also have a pistol that has a holstered talent from your two primary guns, therefore possibly making pistols much more effective. Big news at the end of this, the P90 was confirmed. So all of you guys can start focusing on other old defunct weapons that no one should really care about anymore. Just kidding, kind of. So what was my reaction to this? I thought the stay of the game was awesome. I think the exotic idea with only having one gear piece and one exotic gun able to be equipped, we may not realize how big of a deal that is yet. My guess is exotics are going to be much more powerful and much more broad in their use than they were in the first game. Therefore, this is going to be necessary. I think it's also going to make people choose between gear sets and branded gear because my guess is you're only going to be able to use these exotics with branded gear. We'll see. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty confident. The other big thing is these change in weapon talents where currently you can just stack three damage talents and there's not really any creativity because there's almost the best in slot situation. Now you're going to have one active talent that's probably going to be a damage dealing talent. You're going to have one stability, accuracy, whatever talent that will be a thing that you maybe wouldn't normally care about, but since you don't have a choice, you're going to be more focused on getting stability or accuracy or optimal range. And then that third holster talent is going to basically be alpha bridge for every all the time. Therefore, your backup guns are going to matter. Even your pistol is going to matter. I also predict that there's going to be holster talents that can make pistols more powerful. If there's a holster talent that makes pistols significantly more stronger and you have it on both of your primary and secondary guns, you could potentially have pistols that are competitive with other guns. We'll see. Who knows? But what I do want to know is I want to know what you think. In the comments, on my Twitter, wherever you can get a hold of me, please let me know what you think about the some of the gun changes. And if there's anything I missed, feel free to remind me. This was Bond Diesel, and until next time.